started, I did a, like a, a bit of research on the studio and yourself. So like, there are a few interesting credits that I sort of jumped out at me, which was like the doing like some soundtracks for some shows, like uh, Heroes. And yeah, that was Law that was Order. that was a bit that was great when that happened. Yeah, it's very you. hard to get these things going on a regular basis. It's pure luck at the end of the day. Can you sort of like walk us through how that even? How that happened, uh, yeah, right? How it happened. Um, at the time, I was really making mu- work, like I would call it world music, mm-hmm. and I would did a search on Google for, I did a search world music wanted, just just to try it. World I, you music know, wanted. 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 A oh, wanted. Wanted. Sorry. Sorry. So I searched in Google for world music wanted, and I literally went deep into it. I went like 13, 14 page, fifteen pages. I went really every listing I possibly could. And eventually I, I, I found this publisher in L.A. who, um, and I contacted him and I sent him my music and he really liked my stuff. Okay. So then he uh, uh, he put it in his bank and then he called me out the blue. And one of my songs he, he, he seemed really interested in and he wanted to do a buyout for $1,000. And I went, um, I, I wasn't sure if that was a good deal. It sounded like he already, you know. So anyway, I said no, because I wanted um, mm. royalties. That's when I understand right. what royalties were all about and how the music industry really works. So um, I decided that, uh, no, I want to do, to, to do it just on a royalty basis. Um, Can and, you explain, sorry, could you just explain what a buyout is? For okay, okay, who, right. Who might not just, okay, who bas- might not know. Basically, um, when when the piece of music is used in a it was for this for this it was for a trailer for for heroes right so when it's used for that it gets you, you get um, the first thing you get is what's known as a sync fee okay which is like a fixed hundred I think it was one hundred and fifty dollars plus you get royalties which is the amount of time it's shown so let's say it's shown for two minutes yep. you get um, a certain amount of money for that two minutes. And you get the royalties is like you get it every time it's played, right? Every time it's played, you right. get you get you get royalties for that. Right. And as that happens, because they had about eight characters, they had eight different trailers. Right. So it would get paid played, whatever, like let's say thirty seconds times eight. Yeah. So I'd actually have four minutes, and four minutes in the f- in video and film industry is is actually pays a lot of money. Yeah. yeah. It's just that it's just the way it is. So. For sure. So having that every week, because it was a weekly show, like it was just basically yeah. I was getting my music eight played eight times each time it was the trailer was shown, which was multiple times every so it was week. Eight times just for one show, basically. Yes, per per trailer, but it wasn't played eight times. One trailer was played multiple times, eight times. You know, because wow. there was eight different types of characters. So it got anyway. The fact is, it got played a lot. All right. So a buyout is when when let's say the the publisher would go, okay, how about I just, I'll take the royalties for it, I'll take the sync fees, I'll take basically all that money that I could make from it. We didn't know at the time how much it would make, so right. you just don't know. I mean, maybe it will make nothing. Okay. Maybe it will make, maybe it will just be shown once, if at all. So um, he bought, offered me $1,000, you know, as a buyout, so meaning basically that uh, no matter how many times it's shown or whatever, he would just make the money. Yeah. And you just make that one time. I'd make a, I would make a thousand dollars. So it would be like you know, it's it's quite tempting. You know, if someone offers you a thousand dollars for a phone right. for for a song. It's like you just like it's quite exciting. You know, or, sure. you know, it's like the first the reaction would be sure. You know, uh, you know, it's like you're lucky to get a few hundred. You know, and if the anything. credit is pretty good too. Um, what's that? The credit, like getting placed yeah. in like a... Exactly. Because when Heroes came out, it was a pretty big show. Yeah, I didn't even know it was going to be that big. Nor did he. So in a no. sense, he's sort of taking a chance too. I so see. it's it's not always like he's trying to rip me off. It's like he's he sees a little opportunity and he's taking a little bit of a risk too. Okay. So I said no because I uh, he was telling me that the guy was pretty much going to use the song. So I knew it was a done deal. So I said no, and then I hadn't heard, and then I didn't hear from him for a few months, and I went, oh, I should have just taken the $1,000. And next minute, you know, um, calls me again, and then I started to get um, sync fees and royalties, and I started making um, sort of more than tens of thousands, which is, and it was just like, wow, you can actually make 
money with this with with royalties, and that, that's right. what I realized that this is where the money is in the music industry. I was just gonna say that's again for the, someone who maybe doesn't know that is what like the artist is trying to get to. Exactly, but it's not that easy. Because no. what I did was I ended up making a similar song, thinking, okay, well, I'll just make another song like it, you have and uh, maybe I'll get it in. But no, it's just not. It's, it's pure luck. It's like you're you're in a bank of songs, and the chances of them choosing yours are. It's a little. Sometimes it could be a needle in a haystack. It's not something. It's not like you just go out there and okay, I'm going to make a song and I'm going to get it in a trailer. And it's it just doesn't work like that. It's like it's. You just have to be. It's just it's just luck. A lot I mean, of the time. I was just gonna say the sort of the method of how you got to contact with him is sort of unorthodox in a way. Yeah, you just sort of like you almost like not that you ran out of options, but it just you're just like you know what I'm just gonna throw it out there. And yeah, if someone attaches themselves to it, then that's what it is. Exactly, and it's so sort of it, it did work out. I mean. <laughs> Um, it was, you know, and as I said, I tried it again and mm -hmm. I still have his contact. He still has my music there and nothing's really materialized since. I mean, mm -hmm. I've had other, other, other songs in, in documentaries, right. you know, but it's never been quite as big as the heroes one. That yeah. was like the, yeah, the King Kong. I mean, the, the other credit that I saw as well was the law and order credit. Yeah. They, Which once, is? once you're, I didn't actually realize, but the, uh, you get a, with Sokan, you get yeah. a listing of all the, all the uh, you know where it's actually shown, mm -hmm. and sometimes I'm not just not aware of where the money's coming from, and and then I saw Law and Law and Order, uh, prop up there, and I went, oh, they used it for Law and Order. I didn't even know. I didn't even see it. I didn't even look at it, and and it's very hard to go back and find find it, but. Uh, it was one of these things where you just found out afterwards it was used. So you didn't even know that someone was using the music, or afterwards I knew. Right. You know because you know you put your you put your music in a bank of of like a a, a publishing bank. Mm -hmm. Some some are big, some are small. His happens to be not that big, which is good. Yeah. But you're not necessarily guaranteed that they're going to choose it. I see. So it's just sort of the same. Uh, individual you were in contact with for the heroes credit. Yeah, exactly. Happened to happen. Uh, they happened to the Law and Order people. They happened to find it in his bank mm -hmm. and they used it. What an incredible! Yeah, it's just pure. It's just pure chance. That's so surreal. As an artist, that's what you're trying to get to in a way, which is like an, a royalty based. Uh, Yes, income in exactly. Some sort of way. I mean, if you know, like, if you get into film music and music scores, that's where the big money is. Because if you have, if you're in a film that actually makes it pretty big, you know, you're going to make some really good money with that. All right.